welcome back to another video I want to ask you a question do you pick a word or phrase for the year for the past few years I've picked a word or a phrase for the year ahead to help me to learn to grow and to become a better person it's a way that I anchor myself on positive change that I want to create in the upcoming year when I pick a word I think about what goals I want to achieve in that year ahead what do I want to create what are my intentions and what do I want to focus on in 2020 my word was faith given the 2019 I was being pursued by God faith is a, you know a reasonable word for that year so I needed to have faith faith in myself faith in him 2021 I had a phrase which was trust faith I wasn't quite done with the word faith and trust had kept coming up um, in 2020 um, when I was reading the Bible and that sort of thing trust kept popping up for me so I needed to trust in him and myself but I also needed to trust in my faith as well coming into this year 2022 my word was hope and now that we're a few months into the year I felt that a new word had got put onto my heart. So if you've seen a recent YouTube video, which I will link down below, where I had um, shine put on my heart towards the end of the service. And as I explained in that video, I believe that it was a message from God telling me to shine, that he wants me to shine, that it's my time now for so many years people have been trying to squash that light that he put in me because they didn't understand it and they were jealous of it well now he wants me to let the shade off to you know um shine for all the world to see so shine as a verb means to emit rays of light to perform extremely well to have a bright glowing appearance and to cause to emit light and as a noun it's brightness caused by the emission of light brilliance and splendor so my question again another question is do you pick a word if you were to pick a word, what would it be? Answer those in the comments below. So, how am I transitioning into this new word? Well, I'm uploading more YouTube channels. I'm uploading more YouTube videos. And you know, I'm recording them, I'm editing them, I'm uploading them. So that's my way of shining. I am not worrying so much about what other people think because I'm still learning this, but also it's my story. My time to shine is me just showing up. So that's one of the things that he recently taught me as well, <clears throat> the it doesn't need to be perfect you know um, my hair is still damp from the shower that I've just had you know it's all fluffy you know um, I'm in a comfy comfy jumper I just need to show up it doesn't matter how I do it as long as I'm relatively presentable obviously but I just need to sit down record my my journey my story and whatever he has put on my heart he's also been having you know helping me grow my confidence at work 
and also outside of work so that's also me shining i am doing so much better at work now that i i don't stress as much about the targets that we get if the foot falls low um you know and if the targets are too high because there's nothing i can do about that what can i control i can control other things you know if customers aren't willing to buy well there's nothing i can do about that so it's learning to control what i can control rather than trying to control everything which is what i've been doing for so many years because for the majority of my life i wasn't in control of it other people were in control of it so then i went the opposite way and tried to control everything when it was never for me or anybody else to control other than God. So in a morning, listen to worship music, I hand my day over to God. On my walk into work, I hand it over to him. When customers come in, it's handed over to him. So that's my way of shining as well. The, because he's put these talents in me and the only way for them to have their true potential is to just to hand them, hand everything, hand every situation back over to God. And that's then helping me to shine. The day after the word got put on my heart a few weeks ago, I was watching The Chosen season two, the last episode, which was the lead up to the Sermon on the Mount. And so that's in Mark chapter five. <clears throat> Matthew chapter five, sorry. I knew it began with an M. There we go. Um, and I was reading that section and verse 16 i had highlighted over the past few years at some point so verse 16 says in the same way let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven and i had written a note next to it which says don't hide your talents from the world then give thanks to God for them. And I just love that with the Bible and even my journals, that I can write something down, I can highlight something in the Bible, I can make a note, I can write something in my journal that means something to me at that point when I do that. But then months later, years later, I then come back to that and it means something completely different to me. And they're just little, little messages, aren't they? You know, they're little reminders, but it's amazing how you can read things so many times and each time you get something new from it, you get something different from it. Um, and I just thought that that was amazing that, you know, maybe in 2020 or 2021, um, I don't even remember when I when I, I highlighted that and noted it. Um, I think it might have been early on in 2020, but I noted, you know, I highlighted that and I made that note. Um, but it's taken me this long to be able to shine. You know, th things don't happen overnight. They take a little time. They, you need to sit with things a lot of times to understand what they mean and to be able to step out of that comfort zone a little bit to be able to shine to not care what people think and just know that you're doing what you were led to do um and that's what i'm doing with this channel um and with recording some of these videos um so yeah, I think that's all I've got to say. Um, just going to be a little quick short video. 
um, they don't all need to be epic long things. Um, yeah. If you do have any suggestions of anything that you would like me to chat about, um, any topics, subjects from my mental health to my faith, um, if you just leave them in the comment box below, then I will see what I can do for you guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.